Thank you and welcome to another BMIT product presentation. I'm Kevin Nguyen. Today, I'm very excited to introduce to you a new version of GasMart, GasMart 4.0. Among the 4.0's feature set, you will find many familiar ones found in the latest version of GasMart for the Gilbarkochi site and the Passport that we are familiar with already. In a minute, I'll show you how easy it is to use GasMart, but let me first show you what it has to offer. GasMart Solution is a complete back office system for the gas station and convenience store business. It contains both hardware, the DS365 data streamer, and the GasMart software. How does it all work together? Well, the DS365 is set up at your gas station to communicate with your current POS system. It then sends data securely to GasMart software over the internet. GasMart software can be installed on a PC at home, in the office, or on a notebook computer so that you can work with it everywhere you go. With GasMart, you will no longer have to enter data sent to you from your gas company, your distributor, or scan in the merchandise items from your C-Store wholesale vendors if EDI invoices are provided. Things that take you hours to do today will be done in a short few minutes by GasMart and we will do so accurately every time. Those are some of the high-level highlights I'd like to share with you. Now, I'd like to walk you through the features of GasMart in more detail. Let's get started. Okay. You will need to enter your login username and password to get into GasMart. Uh, for this presentation, the username is GasMart, and there's no password to that. And of course, you can change the login information email accounts uh, anytime you want but I'm not going to do that so I cancel it out and click the OK button to move along okay with your valid login credentials GasMart will take you right into the command center and let you take charge of the battlefield if you will there are many important elements here in the command center that you should know about First, is the tank. Well, not those in the military, but the underground storage tanks at your station. There, you see, three big tank meters. Those show you the current level of your fuel in gallons currently in the tanks. Up in the upper right-hand corner, you will see the current per gallon price for each product type that you are selling. Here, you see the unleaded, plus, premium, and diesel. The prices in the left column are the credit card prices. If your station offers cash prices, the cash discounts are shown on the right. It's in orange here. In the lower left-hand corner, on the status bar, authenticated means you log into GasMart successfully with your login credentials. There are times you will see unauthenticated instead. That means you have successfully logged into GasMart, but there's no internet connection. These two different login modes allow you to work with GasMart even when you are offline, having no internet connection. You only need an internet connection when you want to pick up new data. Okay, back to the command center. At this point, you would know something in general about the business, but you will want to make sure the business is on the right track. You would want to call for field reports to see how the business progressed yesterday and will it continue to make sense with today's new data. Below the tank meters are the commands that you will need to carry out to zoom in on the details. 
For the time and purposes of the presentation, I will go quickly over certain features and spend a little more time on some features that will require more of your attention. To find out what you have bought for your C store, click on the C store price book command button. Here you will see the UPC for the products. The effective price date shows you the date on which the price took effect. What's the cost of the item, the package size, the suggested retail price. At the right, you will see the store inventory. That column shows you the current inventory level for the item. GasMart tracks inventory level for you automatically when you buy new items or when, and when you sell them at the store. To look up which invoices this merchandise is in, click on the Look Up Invoices button. The list at the top shows you all the invoices that the merchandise is in. The invoice number and when the item was bought. We will get back to the invoice detail when we look at invoices later. Let's exit this view for now. Remember, all the data in the price book comes directly from the invoices GasMart will get automatically for you from your wholesale vendor using EDI. If you currently tracking your C store merchandises manually using say Microsoft Excel or using another product that requires you to enter the data, you will not have to do that anymore with GasMart. GasMart will take care of that automatically. All the uh, product information will come directly to GasMart and GasMart will enter it into the database for you. So you no longer are required to do the manual work anymore. To find out what you bought in each C-Store invoice, click on the C-Store invoices command button. Here you will see all the details about the items you bought. You will see the invoice number, how much you paid for the entire invoice. You can now conveniently find out how much you buy in a month using the invoice dates. On the right hand side, the invoice summary shows you the discount, the return amount, the total cost before any discounts, among others. Selecting an invoice in the invoice list you will see all the items on that invoice. Of particular interest to you is the invoice inventory value. That column shows you the current inventory level for this invoice, not just the inventory level for the whole store. Invoice inventory will help you decide quickly how fast the new merchandises are sold so that you can decide to stock more or less of the merchandise. It also provides you with an effective means to manage inventory shrinkage. Clicking on the Look at Price History button will show you all the price changes and when they happen. You can find out how well an item does by clicking on the View Items Sales button. You can select any number of days to see the sales for those days. You can select a whole month. To find out what your store sales each day and if you need to make any changes to the current prices, click on the Department Data Analysis button. Like all of you using GasMart, click on the column header to sort the value in that column. I'm going to click on the margin percentage to quickly find out what merchandise gives me the lowest and what gives me the highest margin and everything in between. To see how well each department performs, look at the day's percentage column on the right hand side. It should give you a pretty good idea of the low performers 
and the high ones. Now, let's move on to the fuel side of the business.